This video is about the festival. For the film, see Chiharshan Psuri. Chiharshan Psuri dash sa left double angle bracket r a umlaut left double angle bracket, usually pronounced a umlaut a umlaut r a inverted exclamation point amber sa left double angle bracket r a umlaut left double angle bracket, Azerbaijani. A tilde re acute ra re acute and bbayrama umlaut plus or minus, Kurdish. A tilde ra re masara, also called the festival of fire, is an Iranian festival celebrated on the eve of the last Wednesday before Noras. The name of the festival consists of the words Jaharshanb, the Persian for Wednesday, and Sir, which is a variant of Sok referring either to the fire itself, or to the ruddiness. It is commonly translated as Wednesday Light or the Red Wednesday. The color red symbolizes good health and ripeness in Persian tradition. Charshan Psuri is a prelude to Noras, and is celebrated WTH firework displays, and the jumping over of fires. Mixed nuts and berries are also served during the celebration. The celebration usually starts in the evening, with people making bonfires and jumping over them. The traditional poetic quotes are Diyu Manaz to, Sorki Yi to as man is also sung, which literally means my yellow is yours, your red is mine. This means you want the fire to take your pallor, sickness, and problems and replace them with warmth and energy. It is a purification rite, which is traditionally regarded necessary before the arrival of spring at the vernal equinox. The origin of the festival dates back to at least 1700 BC during the early Zoroastrian era. Ancient Iranians celebrated the festival of Hamas Pathmadaya, the last five days of the year in honor of the spirits of the dead, which is today referred to as Favardigan. They believed that the spirits of the dead would come for reunion. The seven holy immortals were honored, and were bid in a formal ritual farewell at the dawn of the new year. The festival also coincided with festivals celebrating the creation of fire and humans. In the Sassanid era, the festival was divided into two distinct pentads, known as the Lesser and the Greater Panj. The belief had gradually developed that the Lesser Panj belonged to the souls of children and those who died without sin, whereas the Greater Panj was for all souls. A custom once in vogue in Tehran was to seek the intercession of the so-called Pearl Cannon on Charshan Psuri. This heavy gun, which was cast by the Persian foundry man ISMA Umlau till ISFAHA Umlaut 9 1800, during the reign of Farth Ali Shah of the Kaja dynasty, became the focus of many popular myths. Until the 1920s, it stood in Arg Square, to which the people of Tehran used to flock on the eve of Charshan Psuri. Spinsters and childless or unhappy wives climbed up, and sat on the barrel or crawled under it, and mothers even made ill-behaved and troublesome children pass under it in the belief that doing so would cure their naughtiness. These customs died out when the Pearl Cannon was moved to the Army's Officers Club, sometime in the 1920s. There was also another Pearl Cannon in Tabriz. Girls and women used to fasten their decals to its barrel on the eve of Tarshan Psuri. In times, the cannon had been used as a sanctuary for political or non-political fugitives, to be immune to arrest, or to protest from family problems. Sad Hedayat, Iranian writer of prose fiction and short stories, has a book with the name of this cannon, Tapi Morvred, that criticized the old beliefs of Iranian folklore. The book points also to the origin of the Pearl Cannon. Today, the Pearl Cannon is placed in the opening of the building number no. 7 of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the 30th Tur Avenue, and the Cultural Heritage Organization of Iran is still in argument with the ministry to displace the gun to a museum. Much of the symbolism of the act of jumping over fire is linked to astrological connotations associated with the sign of Pisces, related to the subconscious mind, hidden resources, hidden problems and social responsibility. The human has to face his ultimate fears, and he does so by jumping over fire. Wednesday is chosen because of its ancient association with the fourth day of Mercury, and Mercury being the messenger of gods.